if you're drinking, it, you're still exercising your will. You know, this is what most people don't get is they, they think that willpower is only in a positive direction. Willpower is in a negative direction as well. You know, it's the power of your will. The direction that you're going is your will. It's what you want to do. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to another video. Um, today I wanted to talk about willpower. You know that I'm all about simplicity. I'm all about just trying to keep things as simple as possible because, um, you know, making a big change in your life is a uh, is complicated in and of itself, right? It's tough. It takes time. It takes energy, a lot of energy in the beginning. And the the simpler you can make this for yourself, the better it is, right? You know, when people talk about willpower, they say, well, willpower is uh, something that um, is like a muscle. You can grow it. You can uh, you can use it up, and at the end of the day, it's gone. Um, you know, for me, that's uh, I'm talking about that from the perspective of energy, right? Uh, I, you know how to gain energy yourself, right? You you eat food and you gain energy or that. You rest and you get energy through that. Um, and there's so much, I think. Uh, when people talk about willpower, I have this willpower, I, have, I haven't got this willpower, I have this certain amount of willpower, or I haven't got that. And it just adds complexity. It adds uh, unnecessary complications to this journey when you don't need it. For me, willpower boils down to, um, it means nothing else than a person's ability to choose between uh, different states of affairs, right? To prefer one state over another and to set aside all the others and to behave in uh, accordance with that choice right so what i'm saying is that um it's a decision it's a choice that you make and you know it's it's one of those things of willpower to me is i will or i won't end of story right anything else outside of that is an excuse anything outside of that is me trying to talk myself out of it or to say to myself well this is too hard it comes down to the narrative that i'm saying to myself inside my head um, and there's so many different things that i can roadblocks that i can put in, so in front of myself in front of my journey to say to myself well no I'm, I'm quite happy to to do what i'm doing like i say the choice that you make whether you choose to drink or not is a preference it boils down to that right you know, willpower is the power of your will, the power to make decisions, the power to stick by those decisions. You know, it's your ability to see um, the different states that are available to you, the different uh, choices that are available to you, and to make a decision um, based on, on those things which means that you prefer one of those things. Like I said, when you drink alcohol, you prefer to do that. You prefer to, whatever reason, whatever benefit you're getting out of the alcohol, that's what you prefer in that moment. You know, that's what you value in that moment, right? Values are something that change uh, over time. They're, they're something that change with your moods. They change with how strong or how weak you feel. Um, but your will, if you've got a, a, if you say to yourself, look, this is, what I will do, and no matter what happens, I'm going to do this, then nothing can stand in your way. You know, that's the perseverance that we talk about. We talk about the four P's, which is perseverance, patience, um, positivity, and uh, focus, which, I mean, for me is perspective, so that's the fourth P, but it's focus. And if you've got the focus on something, you cannot focus on something if you're if you're going all over the place, right? You cannot be positive about something if you're going all over the place, if you're chopping and changing your mind, if you don't have the 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 power of your will, if you don't stick to the will, if you don't stick to what you want to do, if you don't make a choice and go, well, I'm going to do this regardless of what's happening. Um, you know, it's, it's very hard to have patience with yourself, with the journey, if you're chopping and changing, because you're never getting anywhere. You know, you're making that one step forwards, two steps back. Um, and once you allow the will, your will to go in, in a direction that you don't want it to go, I mean, if you're drinking, it, you're still exercising your will. You know, this is what most people don't get is they, they think that willpower is only in a positive direction. Willpower is in a negative direction as well. You know, it's the power of your will. The direction that you're going is your will. It's what you want to do. It's what you prefer to do in that moment. And that's what you have to get 
Uh, that's what you have to understand. You know, this is really behaving according to your choice, right? It's um, a, a preference that you're showing yourself that really represents the values that you have in your life. Uh, and like I say, values, it, it's, it's very easy to, to say to yourself, to talk the values and to say, well, these are my values in life. But your actions speak louder than any of the words that you have. You know, if you if you say to yourself one thing in your values, your actions will tell you exactly what your values are, what you value in life. You know, when you don't stop drinking and you continue to drink, it shows you what you value. It shows you that you value getting drunk more than being sober. It shows you that you value uh, irresponsibility rather than responsibility. It shows you that you um, don't value commitment to yourself, that you value commitment to something else, whatever that may be. You know, when you look at the willpower involved in alcohol, will is something that you can change. You know, the, the, you've always got a choice. Even if you're halfway through a drink, you have a choice to put it down. You, you know, if you're halfway towards the, the off license of the liquor store to buy your alcohol, you have a choice to turn back. You know, when you open up a bottle, you have a choice to pour it into your body or pour it down the, the drain or the toilet or, you know, uh, just leave it there standing in front of you, staring at it. That's your choice. There's always a choice there. Uh, and the decision that you make is always going to follow the um, the direction of your will, what you want to do, you know. And people say, oh, well, I don't want to drink, but I, I keep drinking. That's bullshit. Bullshit. You know, there's, there's, there's always a question of, I don't want to um, put up with the, with, the, uh, with the negative stuff, with you know, feeling bad when I stop drinking alcohol with, you know, having to put up with the cravings and having to deal with things and having to think about my life and having to think about what I'm going to do next and how I'm going to deal with this thing and how I'm going to deal with that thing. That's always tough, you know, but think about what's going to happen in 10 years time if you don't change. And that's what I keep saying, you know, simplicity is the key. Listen to your body, listen to yourself, listen to your mind, listen to where that is going to go. Think about your future. Think about, you know, how that's going to affect you, your decision that you make now. Um, I, I cannot fathom where I would be now if I hadn't stopped drinking alcohol. I do not think I would be here, literally. I, I mean, I literally wouldn't be here where we are now. Look, look at this place. I mean, this is where I am now because I've stopped drinking. We made a choice. And we are here because I stopped drinking alcohol because I made that decision and I put up with all the crap and it wasn't easy. You know, it's not easy for anyone this, but there is always an alternative. You know, think about it from this perspective that the choice that you make doesn't mean that you lack strength in one way or another, right? It means that you prefer one possibility over the other. You, you prefer one mode of action over another. You're acting to have the thing that you prefer come about. You know, when you choose one thing, you also have to choose all the behaviors that go along with that, right? So when you choose to, to drink alcohol, you also have to choose the destruction that goes with that. You have to choose the, the crappy diet, the, the crappy feeling the next morning, the crappy withdrawal, the crappy tolerance. The, um, you have to accept that your brain is not going to work and function as, as well as it should be. And that's going to deteriorate. You're going to have to accept that your body is going to deteriorate. Um, your life is going to deteriorate slowly but surely in front of your eyes, in front of everyone else's eyes. Your expectations about yourself and other people's expectations about you are going to deteriorate. So when you drink, you choose not only the alcohol, but you also choose that. Your will might be just that one decision. I don't, I don't want to, um, I don't want to think about this tonight. I don't want to think about the cravings. I don't want to think about, I, I can't do this or I can't do that. Um, my decision tonight is not to think about any of that and I'm going to get myself blasted. I'm going to get the buzz. But all of those things are a consequence of that. So, you know, your willpower, when you force your will in one direction, then you also have to accept the consequences of that will. You know, it's like anything in life, there is an opportunity cost. You know, there's, because you choose one thing in life, you necessarily cannot do other things in life. Like I said, 10 years ago, if I hadn't stopped drinking alcohol, maybe I would have stopped nine years ago. Maybe I would have stopped eight years ago. Maybe I wouldn't have stopped at all. But if I hadn't have stopped at all, I, I'm not sure if I would be still here on this planet, never mind here in this 
uh, in this paradise that I'm in now. Do you get what I mean? So uh, it's a decision that can uh, affect you and you're going to put up with shit. Shit is going to happen, you know. You have to go through the the, the door of... Um, I mean, Punishment is not a good, a good way of putting it, but you have to put up with, with uh, some negative stuff in your life. But you know that's like anything else. In order to get up here onto this mountain, I've had to put up with a lot of uh, uh, heavy breathing and my heart's popping out of my chest, and uh, I'm having to stop every uh, couple of minutes to catch my breath. But now I'm up here on top of this mountain. Look, that's my view. That's the 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 reward that I get at the end of it. And it's exactly the same thing. When you stop drinking alcohol, when you take something out of your life and you push yourself to um, to feel that uh, that negativity. But it's not negative because it's pushing you in, in, a, in a good direction. You know, when, when people say that they lack willpower, they don't, they lack the will to do certain things. Um, they lack the... Um, it's not even that they lack it, they choose to do different things. And when you make a choice, you cannot have two things. You cannot be sober and drunk at the same time. You know, you cannot live a healthy life and an unhealthy life at the same time. Do you know what I mean? You know, it's, it, it's completely different to saying that they, they don't have the strength in them that everyone else has. You know, everyone's got the strength to do this. Everyone's got the strength to stop, to stop drinking. Everyone's got the strength to change. You know, if you if you are a physically capable person, if you're a mentally capable person, you are capable of doing this. You just have to get real. No more excuses. Honesty. You know, honesty with yourself is super important. You know, probably the most important thing that you're going to do is is to have honesty with yourself to to really see yourself from that perspective. It's a good life. It really, is a good life. Um, you know, I, I thought my life was was finished. Uh, I thought my life was. I thought this is the way that it was supposed to be when I was drinking. You know, get up every morning with a hangover, or most mornings with a hangover, feeling crap most of the time, um, not really making progress. But hey, doesn't matter because at the end of the day, I can go back to my little bottle of magic potion at the end of the day and uh, disappear from my thoughts, disappear from myself, and not have to think about my failures. Uh, and that's the way I saw myself as a failure. But when you take 100% commitment and 100% responsibility for yourself and for your life, you start to see things in a different way. You start to see things uh, from the perspective of um, failure is a part of the journey. You know, failure is a, uh, you're moving in the right direction. It's a proof that you're moving in the right direction, that you're doing things, that you're taking action, uh, that you're you're thinking about things, and you're making adjustments, and you're saying, right, well, if I adjust it this way, then maybe I don't, you know, I, I try again, and I don't fail the next time. You know, that's a good way of thinking about things. You know, it's how we all move forward. So anyway, that's my version of willpower. Like I said, you know, you can. You can listen to whoever you want, but don't make things complicated. You know, listen to yourself. Uh, either you will or you won't. Either you will stop drinking or you won't. Either you're going to put the alcohol into your mouth or you, you, you're not. Right? Um, either you're going to work on yourself or you're not. You know, it's as simple as that. Listen to your, listen to yourself. Listen to what's in your own best interests. You know. Take care of yourself. Uh, if you want some help, you know where to find us, habitsv2.com. Um, we've got a free course that you can get down below. It's the preparation course, which will hopefully get you in a, a good state of mind and help you to see things from a different perspective. And uh, yeah, uh, take care of yourself. Keep the alcohol out of your mouth, and I'll speak to you again soon. I want to know what's Bye now.